You know, Random Way Girl was just fun in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, different parts of the city, all over the city. Um, Manhattan, Queens, like everywhere. And just, um, you know, just having fun. And a Random Way Girl is not necessarily a young lady from the ghetto or an urban situation. She's just an everyday young lady. You know, the girl next door. She isn't, you know, the young lady in the back of the limousine with the mink and the fur and the glitter and the glamour. She's just a regular girl, plain girl, normal, Random Way Girl. You know, just coming from that kind of warm, humble place of being connected to the people. That's always been something that I was into. As we do it up for MTV raps like this, around the way, girl, it's millions of people watching us all over the world right now. This is an international thing. You on TV everywhere. Time on. Check it out. And everybody put your hands in the air from side to side like this here. And give me a dog bark. Give me a dog bark. Give me a dog bark. Say who? Who? Say who? Now I want you to put your hands together and clap your hands because we're going to have a real good time. But first, we want to do this thing like Motown back in the day, remember? talks about mama, but that's actually grandmama, isn't it? Well, well, in a way, but it's mama. You know, I understand what you mean. My grandmother was an inspiration, but I call her mama. And your grandfather, too. My grandfather was a strong inspiration as well. In what way? My whole family. And I come from a family that understands the power of unity, power of knowledge, and the power of God. Rockin it, rockin it. Rockin it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Uncle Well, the future of the funk LL Cool J. Rapper hip-hop has been around since the mid-70s. Its roots were the streets of New York, where rappers got together to battle each other for musical supremacy. Now rap is more than a battle of men. It has reached a mainstream appeal across the nation and throughout the world. There are no limitations to its strength. It's music, true art form. We saw him in Crush Groove back in the day, singing about his radio to his smash single, Bad. LL Cool J is definitely a major force in hip-hop. And just when some people thought he was played out, he's back with a slamming new album. But don't call it a comeback. LL Cool J is going to knock you out. They're part of this world, too, and I like them. I like the girls next door. I like the neighborhood girls. They need to feel wanted. They make me feel wanted. What is LL's style? I don't have a style. I just, I'm just me. You know, sometimes I feel like I sometimes I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't really have a style. No style. Pump it up with the uncle, pump it up. Come, Come on. on. Pump it up with the uncle, pump it up. Come on. Pump it up with the uncle, pump it up. Come on. Pump it up with the uncle, pump it up. Come on. Pump it up with the uncle, pump it up. Come on. Pump it up with the uncle, pump it up. Pump it up with the uncle, pump it up. Baby hair pumping, lip gloss is shining. I think you're in the mood for whining and dining. So we could go out and eat somewhere. Oh yeah, we got a lot of private jokes to share. Yeah. Lisa, Angela, Veronica, Renee, I love you. You're from around the way. Come on, sing it. I need it. Sing it. Come on, y'all, sing it. That's the one for me. Sing it. That's right now, sing it. You seem like such a serious guy. What do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? I like to just ride around and listen to music. Maybe have some um, enjoy some female company or something. Kick back, take it easy, and rest. Movie star Nick Lang is looking for a part that could change his image. You don't want me to grow up. The studio doesn't want me to grow up. I'm the only one who wants me to grow up. The hard way. 
coming soon to a theater near you. All right, just uh, stop. Thirty Rockefeller Plaza. You got a movie coming out with the Michael movie's J. Out. The movie's That's right, out right it's now. Out. It's Michael J. Way. Fox and James Woods. It's called the, the Hard Way. Get your ticket, baby. <laughs> And now you're acting well, in this movie? Actually, what I was doing, I wasn't acting. I was interpreting. It was my interpretation of that character and how that character reacts and interacts with people. This is like my first real experience with it, and it was a pleasure. And it was an honor working with Michael J. Fox and James Woods because they're big stars. You know, it was a lot of fun. Did you at any time feel intimidated, feeling like, oh, I don't know? No, I just felt thrilled and excited and grateful to be in the film. You know, it was a great experience, and I'll, I'll continue to do it if, if the industry embraces me and sends me scripts and wants me to play roles that uh, have some substance, mm -hmm. you know, roles that mean something. I'll continue to do it. What about that widely publicized feud between you and Mr. Mo D? <laughs> <laughs> you have no comment? <laughs> no, I'm not arrogant. What it is, is let me explain something to you. When you don't have any money and you walk into a place and you know you look confident and proud, you're confident and proud. When you walk into a place and you got more than a dollar in your pocket, you're arrogant if you're confident and proud. So in other words, when you're broke, you're confident. When you're rich, you're arrogant. Hmm. Al talked a little bit about what happened when he was booed off the stage in Harlem about a year ago. His reaction to that. You were around at that time. What did you feel was happening with that audience? I felt that it was a reaction doing what every other star does. Doing just a little bit. Being guilty of some of the same things that every other star is more guilty of. What happened is, the rap scene changed. You know, you had guys like Kane and, and, and uh, P.E. and other people, they coming in. And, 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 and um, the listeners were really bearing towards them. We stayed the same. Perhaps maybe the third album, he started to like, be a little bit of a star. I mean, not nearly as much as other people, but that little bit of star scared people. It's like, oh man, you're abandoning us. Yeah, a lot of people think around the way girls are over in New York and around the city stuff, but they're everywhere from New York to Paris, anywhere you want to go, check this out here, so we can go out and eat somewhere, oh yeah, we got a lot of private jokes to share, sing it, and everybody now sing it, and one, two, three, Get upstairs and take out that garbage. That was my grandmother. She did that in one take. Yeah, nah, it was crazy because like that was the that was the funny thing because like I would you a lot of times I would come off tour. And my grandmother would be telling me to take out the garbage and stuff. I just finished having like thousands of people screaming and, and hands in the air and chasing the tour bus and people jumping on top of limousines. And then I come home and she was like, take out the garbage. You know what I mean? So I put that in the video. But it kept me humble. But I never got as arrogant as I could have gotten. And you know, that 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 song took a long time to get popular, you know, around the way girl too. Like none of those songs were instant hits. I've had a lot of songs that, you know, radio resisted, like Around the Way Girl radio resisted, Mama Said Knock You Out radio didn't really play. You know, it played on MTV a little bit, um, but only during like rap shows and rap stuff. They didn't really give it the mainstream push that it seems like it is, like today everybody knows the song and it's like part of American culture, but back then they didn't really play it. Make it crazy. Like stop it, go make it go, stop it. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Huh? Don't call it a comeback. I've been eating for years. I'm rocking my pants. What is up with the fear? That's really good. That's gonna be something else. That's gonna be something else. Let me see your earrings jingle love. Jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. You're jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. The band is real good. Real good. I'm ready. Jingling, baby.
So uh, it wasn't difficult getting it together or anything. It's happening. You know, I just want to be a part of history and in the long run become a legend. That's it. So this can help me achieve my goal and at the same time participate with a close crowd and just uh, the band is everybody's tight. I like it. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> Rap goes acoustic on MTV's Unplugged. Oh man, come on. Let me cut that out. Ready? Alright, yo, yo, we're gonna get funky. Take it off, baby, Paul. Take it off, get busy. Ready? Now we're gonna get busy now. Check it out. Alright. Alright, my man. Pots and pans, grits and gravy. Y'all ready, baby? Check it out. Uh, you know, I just went in. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, you want me to do it? Do it with a band? Okay, well, if we're gonna do it with a band, this is how we should do it. And I got with Pop's Cool Love. We rehearsed it. I said, Oh, I'll put the breakdown right there. Dun 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 dun. dun. All right, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? You know, that was the vibe, you know, just like the playfulness, you know, play dress up, you know what I'm saying? Like one minute I want to be super playful, the next minute I want to be super strict, the next minute, like I always love to just switch it up with, 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 the, with the art, you know what I mean? Like that was the thing for me, still is. It was a concept that I had thought of. It's like, instead of me doing something that's real risque or something that's really like out front, I wanted to bring the child out myself, the little kid in me and just be playful and just have fun and play, play with games instead of the young lady. I remember having a good time, but you know, honestly, in terms of the director, that was like a blur. I was so on my own, in my own zone with that. I was just like, it was just, I was just doing whatever I wanted to do. And we was just pointing the camera at it. You know what I mean? Just having a ball. That was like super fun. Come on, man. Uh And she said, those guys are pretty good, but you should knock them out. So that sort of inspired me to call out, Mama said, knock you out. After I got the title, I decided to dedicate it to knocking out truancy, knocking out drug abuse, knocking out child abuse, teenage pregnancy, and some of the ills in society. So really, it's Mama said, you know, knock out evil. Up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm LL Cool J, Uncle L, the future of the funk, and this is my video. Yo, yo, it's Ralph Tresvant and LL Cool J, and we want you to stay tuned for more Saturday morning videos. Yeah, don't move. Don't touch that bowl. Hey, well, I got one for you. I got one about you. What's up? It's gonna be fly. Right. I want you to check this out. This one, it says, Dear Saturday morning videos, please dedicate Around the Way Girl by LL Cool J for Tareen O'Neal and Dario Mulatto, because they're both two real important boys in my life. Here's Around the Way Girl for you, someone. In fourth grade. She wants to be anonymous. She's a young someone. Right. Fourth grade, man, <laughs> I, they're real important to you, huh? The bowl of cereal, we gotta go now. So uh, you take it easy. Right here, Saturday morning videos. Check it out next Saturday. Yo. Of course. You know what I mean? This was always my favorite morning. Anyways, I don't know about you guys. Good night. Peace. Knock them out the box, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Get ready for In Concert 91. Tonight, LL Cool J. And LL Cool J. I wrote lyrics and taught brothers tricks. I'm picking it up and ripping it up. I'm leaving the mic in the mix right here on In Concert 91. Just begun. LL Cool J. Peace. Get busy and wear to the paintball To keep they mad at things But 
that's the type of reaction that a LL cusser brings. It's kinda like a potion. One hour party people with your body's in motion. Terry girl juice, hot top fades in my own mini skirts and jet black suede. So do that dance city block with the badness. Rock through the rhythm of a concert madness. No rap can rap quite like I can. I take a muscle bound man and put his face in the sand. I'm the last party so I'm an MC guy. Make it take no LL and do the what? If you think you got a body, and boy, I bet. Who can do that yet? Trent said I'm better, I rhyme so good I got a Kodak play, as in a wish I would And when I step away and no leave on That'll be why I try, treat you like a set up So come on me bye-bye Brother in a season, I'ma never get wet When I retire, I can work up like a whole battle ship Hell, hell, I'm bad Other rappers know, I ain't the listen Let me see your young man, he go Walking outside on the hip-hop spot Push the EQ and play connect the dots Leaning to the side, people everywhere A trunk full of empty, no room for a spare Big beats bumping with the bass and back All the sophisticated suckers catch a heart attack But they don't understand why I act this way Pumping up the funky beat until the break today It's because I want attention when I'm riding by Don't be on my track, cause my system fly Come on! Drive, 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 and uh, I was riding his mini bike and got hit by a car. And things happened, and uh, my grandfather decided that two turntables and a mixer would be safer. And look what happened. And look what happened. In concert '91, and you know I love it. <laughs> You're so funny. I love it. Is just the funniest way that I love it. Go, go, say knock you out. Say knock you out. present the 1991 MTV Video Music Awards, hosted by Arsenio Hall. Live performances by Paula Abdul, CNC Music Factory, Mariah Carey, EMF, Don Henley, LL Cool J, Poison, Prince, and the New Power Generation, Queensryche, Ben Halen, Guns N' Roses, plus the Fresh Prince, MC Hammer, Cher, Bon Jovi, and world-class nominees. The 1991 MTV Video Music Awards, a real class act. Thursday, September 5th at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Well, you're going to be performing with a band at this thing, right? Yeah, I'm performing with a live band. It's going to be incredible. I'm going to really do it up. Yeah. Ready, I'm ready. Oh, my God, that is so one. cool. Don't you think that would look great on the stage? I think so. I think I'm ready to do my thing. Does it move? Oh, yeah, it's loose. Oh, that grip. That is beautiful. Come, let's see. you got to make sure these things are right in your eyes and all that. Happy. Yeah, this is hot. Do you, uh, do you psyched when you want? No question. Definitely happy. I want to thank MTV for their support. They definitely, you know, been behind me 100%. Now I got to go do my job. No, I do believe like he didn't wear what I picked up from, but he does look cute. Oh, no, look no, at no. this. I, you know, I'm, I'm, we in there. We in there. You know how Great. we do. You know how we I work. know. Bye, babe. See ya. Great. Uh, these guys, you don't get to hear them or see them on MTV, but you should because they're three of the biggest and baddest initials in the world of rap music. Straight out of Compton, N.W.A. Take a look at this year's nominees. LL Cool J from Mama Said Knock You Out. And the rap video of the year is... Ain't that a bitch? LL Cool J, Mama Said Knock You Out. First of all, 
you know, um, so many people I want to thank. I want to thank God, of course. Definitely a force in my life. I'd like to thank the Sony staff, everybody up at, you know, record company. I'd like to thank Def Jam. I'd like to thank Russell, my man Marley Marr. I'd like to thank Bobcat, who did a, you know, a big job on the record. I'd like to thank Brian Latour, my personal staff, my father. I'd like to thank each and every one of you. And uh, just the community as a whole for being positive. Thank you very much. God bless you. Rock on. Show Jesus Jones is over there talking to the assembled scribes of the world. I'm here with LL Cool J. LL, that was amazing. Thank you very much. I, you know, I just want to thank MTV for giving me this chance to perform for so many people because I never performed before an audience as large as this or you know something that would be seen by so many people. And I just want to say thank you for the chance. Well, it's a different feeling for having a band up there that big picking the onion. Absolutely, no question that the band gives me a lot of freedom. I didn't even do the record the way it goes on the record. I just did what I felt, you know, and it just felt good to me. You know, I'm just thankful. Okay, thanks a lot, man. Thank still, you. still to come, Prince and Don Henley. Don't go away. I felt like a winner as soon as I was nominated. Uh, LL, as a recording artist, what direction do you want to go? in the art form of rap for the 90s. What direction would you like to go? Well, basically, all I want to do is use the, the power that the music has given me and God has given me to shape and mold the children for the better and um, not to do anything too abrasive, just to be able to persuade them to go on a positive, on a positive route. You know, that, that's basically what I want to do with my music and with what I do. Absolutely, my music is all about fun and um, at the same time, in between grooves and in between cuts, I like to show the kids that, you know, hey, you can be positive, you can be cool and still respect your family. Well, I think they think it's great. What? I think they would think it's phenomenal. Could you tell me what the definition is? I already is? celebrated when I was on stage. I won before I performed, so that was my celebration, just being able to give it back. Yeah. handsome piggy wigs for the big bad wolf the very bad big bad wolf number two he had a house of sticks and he built his house with twigs with a hey diddle diddle he played on a fiddle and he danced all kind of jigs here's how the year went for these people well, I think that the cream always rises. When you're good, you're good. Music is in waves, life is in waves. At some part of, parts of your life, you're on a high, at some parts of your Breakthrough acts of 1991. One of the most effective rappers of the year. He came back with the album Mama Said Knock You Out. He did really well with, in his original style, he actually just had two turntables, a microphone, did his first album on a four track in his basement or bedroom. Now he has a complete orchestra with him, the one and only LL Cool J, kicking off our 1991 review and roundup on Rap City. Decided he could find a much better way to live. You know the way, positive. Without all the negative chemicals and drugs. Without all the hanging with the envious thugs. Never before was a man so far behind. And came back to rule for a long time. Positive will explode when you like me. My enemies learned that they held the dagger tightly. Wanted to taste my blood, but they got scarred. When they felt the power of God
first of all, I'd like to say hello to everybody in the audience because you made this possible, of course. Everybody at home. You know, a thing where we're putting together for the children, you know, to make sure they stay in school and stay away from drugs, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks to Sony, Brian Latour, my father. I love each and every one of you. Most of all, I love God. New York, peace. I love y'all. That jam. <laughs>